Uh, let's see. So it is time for the main event, CM Punk versus Samoa Joe. And you mentioned, uh, Lance, the, the, one of the benefits of the two-man booth is how uh, it's not a constant battle for airtime. And there were points here where the crowd was going crazy, mostly at the beginning with like dueling chants, but uh, the announcers just laid out and just let the atmosphere so come through, and it was great. So they had a very simple match where Joe was big and scary, Punk is smart and fast, a wily veteran. Not that Joe's not a veteran, but... Uh, <laughs> Punk was a step ahead of Joe for the first, like, three minutes of this match. And he'd hit a chop and duck a chop and hit a chop and duck a chop. But he made one big mistake where he tried a springboard dive, and Samoa Joe did the spot where he walks away, and the the, the other guy crashes and burns like a geek. And uh, as Punk is laying on the mat, Joe just stares at his hand. And all the going, oh, man, he's going to hit him really hard. And, uh, <laughs> and man, they were right. <laughs> yeah, Chopped him in the back, too. Yes. He's, he's never been afraid of a back chop. Uh, so that was the, once it was done. Like, okay, Punk's fucked now. <laughs> and yep. It was uh, watching Joe massacre him, which is always a good time. And Punk would keep getting these little hope spots, and each one would get just a little bit more traction than the one before. And at the same time, you can watch Joe, and I know that he's a big dude. If you're paying attention, his gas tank is getting just a little bit closer to E every single time. Sure. And so we got like I don't know, 50 minutes into this, and Punk finally makes his real comeback. And he gets like the Macho Man elbow for two. Goes for the go to sleep, but he collapses under Joe's weight, and Joe gets a cross face. Uh, Joe hits a power slam for two. They're doing a double down, and that was Punk had mentioned him in the promo earlier, but no one had mentioned no one's name in this show for the past two hours. That was the Owen Hart chant spontaneously broke out. Yes, here in Regina, and uh, both guys go for their finish. Punk can't get the go to sleep. Joe can't hit the muscle buster, and then Punk hit a cradle out of nowhere and won. And uh, it was a really, really good match. It was not as good as the tag match, but it was a really, really good match. But I, I was just left thinking, especially on the drive up here, um, that Brian had said that it would be a bigger deal for Joe to get the win here and Punk to chase Joe for his first win over Joe at the Wembley show. Mm -hmm. And this was a this was a good TV match. I'm excited to see what happens for, to Punk going on, but. This not feel like the end of a twenty year storyline of one guy trying to beat another. I'm under the. I think if they did this match five more times, every one of them could be better. There was nothing wrong with this match. Don't get me wrong, but I think it could have been a whole lot better, especially in the main events slot. It was a very simple match. Yes, Punk sold, Joe stalked. They did a comeback, and they didn't do that many near falls. Like, it was good, but it did feel like they're saving stuff. Well, yeah. Right, yeah. right. Or, or or Punk is still getting his cardio legs under him, one or the other. Or but both. Yeah. It, it did feel like, and the thing, that I, unfortunately, not unfortunately, I because I told the guy he could, I had the finish spoiled for me. And I'm curious if I didn't, because it just didn't feel like the match had peaked and ready for the finish it was just like oh okay it was over and I, i'm wondering if maybe the surprise had i not known it was the finish would have actually made it a lot better for me i'm not sure but i was glad when i heard there was a roll up after he got the choke on him i'm glad they didn't do the brett piper finish i think that one's been overdone so I'm glad that he actually escaped the choke and got the uh, different type of cradle on him. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get another one, and they should be able to top it. But uh, it was just this match did not successfully follow the tag, I guess, is more of my Well, opinion. no, it did not. I mean, you're right. <laughs> I, I, I think they'd agree with you. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. Now, the post-match. There is a long bit where they're just both laying on the mat exhausted. And uh, then they get to their feet. They're showing a bunch of replays. But Joe and Punk are just staring at holes at each other the entire time. And there's a chance for Punk. And there's a chance for Owen. And finally, Samoa Joe offers a handshake. And CM Punk, like a fool, accepts. <laughs> and is immediately, immediately choked out. And if you look at Punk's face, you've never seen a guy so sad to be in a sleeper hold. He's... <laughs> 
he's not scared or angry or or or, 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 or so, so shocked as much as he's heartbroken. Like, damn it, I thought he really wanted to be my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, so Joe chokes him out, and he goes to grab. I think he grabs a belt or a chair or whatever. But uh, uh, FTR limps out, still selling their grueling tag match from 20 minutes earlier. And Kevin Kelly is so great at, at at calling the matches, but then when it's time to get characters over, he's screaming about this bitter, vindictive son of a bitch. <laughs> and uh, finally, the show, it, there's 20 seconds left or whatever to sell that Owen Hart tournament final. And you've got Punk down on the mat, st still on his knees, FTR hurting themselves, standing over him. And Ricky Starks kind of shuffles out on stage and he's kind of sulking. Like he looks disappointed too. He just turns and walks away. <laughs> what the hell was that? It's yeah, a walk, it's a walking wounded next week. Everybody tune in. Yes. Yeah, it, it, but it, it, it was odd in that in both semifinals, the guy who won kind of felt like he got his ass kicked and got lucky. That is true. <laughs> I hadn't thought uh, of that, but yes. Yeah. And then the the dominant, strong, tough guys aren't in the final. The weak, small guys that got their asses kicked are, which I don't think is the best sales pitch <laughs> for a finals. Hmm. Well, it's the sales pitch they went with, <laughs> and uh, we'll see where it goes from here. But yeah, there, there was there was not, it was not a perfect show. Yeah, they did the finish. And it's there. a babyface main of uh, babyface final sort of. Yeah, sure. Sure, and I'm I, I'm I'm wondering when this was all planned out. What they you know the the, the reaction for Punk is maybe more positive than they thought it would be in in Canada. Um, it's, it's still very much up in the air where this is going. So I I, I don't I don't know, but uh, it's interesting. It's a fresh match. I don't think Ricky Starks has a chance in hell at this point. Um, no, well, especially with Punk with his Bret Hart themed gear in yeah. Calgary. <laughs> well, uh, uh, although although uh, Hobbs had the Owen Hart themed gear. And uh, he lost. Very true. So, who knows? But that, like I say, there, there was it was not like a perfect show or the best show uh, I've ever seen or anything. But it was two hours that flew by. And as far as presentation and pacing and uh, just just all the little things, it's like that, that's what I want a pro wrestling show to be. I I had a ball watching the show. Yeah, I really like the Saturday night main event like open of the show. With them doing the promos at the beginning, I really wish they'd have just used Obsession instead of Saturday Night. But uh, it would have been much better, especially because they're doing the the opening promos, making it feel that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I I like you. It feels like a pro wrestling show. Mm -hmm. Like the Julia Hart match wasn't much of anything, but it was short. Like yeah. there was nothing that I strongly disliked at all. And the tag match I freaking loved, and most of the other matches I enjoyed. So I, I thought this was definitely a, a two thumbs up show. There's there's things to be nitpicked about the show, but in all, it's a very easy watch, and it was a fun watch. And and uh, with my ridiculous work schedule lately, I didn't fall asleep. Oh, okay. that's a that's a bonus. Happy to hear that. You know, didn't have to rewind one time. So, yeah, great show. Loved it. All right, before we take off, anyone want to plug anything? Lance, I see you've got some pay-per-views and TV shows there behind you. Yeah, Slammiversary uh, next Saturday. So if you decide not to watch Collision Live <laughs> or Battle of the Belts Live. You, you can, can DVR Collision, yeah. You can DVR those shows and watch Slammiversary from Windsor, Ontario. Um, what is our... Uh, oh, it's um, Nick Aldis challenging Alex Shelley for the world title. And we also have uh, Scott Demore and PCO, who was supposed to fight uh, Bully Ray and Steve Macklin, but Macklin got hurt in Australia. So we've got a uh, surprise coming as to who uh, Bully Ray is going to have with him. Deanna Perrazzo defending the knockouts title against Trinity, the former Naomi from WWE. Okay. So there's uh, lots on deck. Coven versus Masha Slamovich and Killer Kelly. Um, I'm trying to think, is this the rematch with... Chris Sabin and Alex Shelley. I'm not sh uh, uh, Chris Sabin and Trey. No, who's Chris Sabin defending against? I can't. I'm blanking. Anyway, Slammiversary, um, Saturday, uh, live on pay-per-view and fight. And if you're in the Southern Ontario area, we're running Saturday and Sunday 
So Impact Wrestling, Thursdays, Access TV. Nice. Follow me on Threads. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yes. By the way, speaking of guys who are 40 years old and you would never know, Alex Shelley. What? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> that, guy, that guy is a... a, a he may add him to the R Truth Vampire Club. Guys who just do no not age. Shit. Yeah. Guy looks like he's yeah. 30 and moves like he's 25. Yes. <laughs> so uh, good on him. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.